Here are some amazing psychological facts about attraction. Number 11, 30 seconds. Although getting to know somebody can change how attracted you are to them, initial attraction, or lack thereof, happens within the first 30 seconds of seeing somebody. Even before we're aware, our brains have determined whether or not we're romantically interested in a person within seconds of looking at them. A study performed at Rutger University on hundreds of different couples suggested our bodies know within a single second if somebody is physically attractive. Number 10, older guys. Like a finely aged wine, plenty of ladies out there prefer an older gentleman to get their juices flowing. In addition to silver foxes and fantasizing about dad bods, there are plenty of other reasons women might lean towards men who are older than them. Older guys are often regarded as more knowledgeable, romantic, kind, and experienced in the bedroom, which are all reasonable things to look for in a mate. Although age doesn't guarantee a smarter or more mature partner, the logic behind the idea is certainly there. But the more significant reason many women prefer older guys has its roots in science. The fundamental purpose of dating is to make sure our genetics make it to the next generation, which requires a strong mate. Women often find this in men who've had the time to become financially and emotionally stable and can provide for them and their future children. Men, however, often find younger women more attractive because, according to science, they're looking for a fertile woman who can carry their offspring. Number 9. Scent Your love interest might be a sight for sore eyes, but how do they smell? Have you ever wanted to curl up with your man post-workout? Have any guys out there gotten hot and bothered around their lady after a hot yoga session? Well, if you have, then you're not alone. It turns out that somebody's scent plays a significant role in one's attraction to them. According to Men's Journal, in several experiments where women were presented with a man's natural body odor, there were certain scents that they rated as smelling better than others. The results of the experiment showed that women liked the scents of men who had different immune genes than their own. This is because the combination of their immune genes and their mates would create children with stronger immune systems, thus keeping them safe from a wider range of threats. Number eight, symmetrical. Symmetry is one of the primary things people find attractive. Numerous studies have shown that facial symmetry is a huge component of attractiveness, and it is equally important to men and women. As we begin to develop inside our mother's wombs, the right side of the body attempts to grow as a mirror image of the left. Various complicated factors play huge roles in this development, but generally speaking, perfect symmetry is nearly impossible because of the tedious, minuscule elements that cause little differences in our facial features. Although we've learned to love and appreciate each other's physical differences, symmetrical faces are considered more attractive at a base level. Because asymmetries can be caused by genetic flaws and health problems, they indicate a less desirable mate. This is because we, as a species, search for the best specimen in terms of stability, strength, health, and fertility to have children with. Number seven, opposites attract. The idea that opposites attract seems like a cliche. We've heard the term our entire lives, but does it have any real backing? The answer is yes. And the reasoning for this goes back to our desire for an interesting partner. Our lives might be easier if we were naturally attracted to people who are very similar to us, but the truth is that we enjoy the differences that make us and our partners unique and keep things exciting. These differences are what creates passion between people, both romantically and emotionally. The other reason we find our opposites attractive is that we want to expand our genetic blueprint, as we previously mentioned about immunity. Since doing this helps keep our children safe via their genetic makeup, we're inclined to find our opposites attractive. Number six, high pitch. Research suggests that the majority of men find women with higher pitched voices more attractive. During a study published in the Journal of Evolutionary Psychology, 45 women left voicemails on an answering machine after being shown a masculine face and a more feminine man's face. They had to leave this message. Hi, we met at the bar last night. I was just calling you to see if you wanted to go out sometime. Call me back. The point of the experiment was to see how a woman's attraction to somebody changes the pitch of her voice. Those who preferred men with more feminine features left their messages in a higher pitched voice, and the ladies who preferred more masculine features left those messages in higher pitched voices. This seems to be an automatic response when a woman thinks somebody is attractive. Women also tend to increase their pitch when they're flirting and when they're ovulating. Number five, man's best friend. P 
people seem to be naturally attracted to cute, fluffy animals like dogs. I mean, who doesn't like holding, petting, and playing with a furry pup? Well, it turns out that man's best friend could also be man's best wingman. Dr. Helen Fisher of the Kinsey Institute in Indiana noted that men with dogs show that they're capable of caring for others. Taking care of a dog also presents one's ability to take responsibility for another living creature, follow a schedule, and form emotional bonds with it. This is exactly what women pick up on when they see a man with a dog. He's capable of giving love, caring for somebody, and committing. These are all essential characteristics women look for in a long-term mate because they're indicative of a man's ability to care for children and provide for their family. A 1992 study had 34 people rate a person's happiness, approachability, and how relaxed they appeared in different photos. The pictures were of the person alone, with flowers, or with a dog. The photographs of people with a dog were rated higher than the others and were also chosen as the favorites. A later study required men to go out and try to get women's numbers with and without a dog. Those with a pooch were much more successful at the task. Number four, blushing. If you're ever wondering whether or not somebody finds you attractive, then pay attention to their cheeks. When we find somebody physically appealing, blood flows into our faces, making our cheeks turn red. This is different than the blushing that occurs from embarrassment as a result of adrenaline. When we are intimately interested in somebody, the blood flowing to our faces makes us appear more attractive to the other person. Our lips and eyelids become redder as well. All of these things combined, red lips, cheeks, eyelids, and white eyes, create a contrast that others find appealing. People often make these things more apparent with blush and lipstick. Number three, eye contact. One of the best ways to build a relationship with somebody is to make eye contact with them. We crave eye contact from the time we're infants, and it's probably because someone's eyes can say a lot about them. We easily notice when a person makes eye contact with us or when they try to avoid it. We can tell if they're up to no good, glancing from side to side, or even what they're about to do depending on where they're looking. It turns out that eye contact is a part of our DNA and has been an important indicator of attraction since the time of cavemen. A study done at Scotland's Aberdeen University suggested that holding someone's gaze is the most significant way to create attraction and enhance other flirtatious behaviors like touching, listening, and smiling. Plus, looking someone in the eyes makes you much more memorable, and who doesn't want to leave an impression? Number two, five o'clock shadow. Beards have truly made a comeback in recent years. Employers often allow men to have a groomed beard, whereas being clean shaven used to be the norm. This is wonderful news for guys and ladies alike. Men don't have to deal with razor burn as often. They can enhance their jaw lines with a nicely trimmed beard, and it just so happens that women find men with beards more attractive. But keep in mind that not every beard is considered equal. Tons of ladies prefer their mate to appear masculine, but overgrown facial hair isn't always the answer. In a study conducted by Neve and Shields, women were asked to rate several males' faces on attractiveness and other qualities. The images they were presented consisted of men with all different lengths and types of facial hair. Men with long beards, short beards, heavy and light stubble, and clean-shaven men were represented in the study. The results showed that women found men with light stubble the most attractive and preferred them as long-term and short-term partners. But the men sporting longer, full beards were considered more masculine, socially mature, aggressive, and older. A later study resulted in the same outcome, except men participated as well. The men found stubble as appealing as full beards, and masculinity ratings went up with the fullness of the beards. So, depending on what a woman or man is looking for in a partner, they can use their facial hair to increase their chances. Number one, wearing red. The color red is often associated with passion and love. I mean, there is a reason it's one of the primary colors for Valentine's Day. There's no denying that the color red has long been connected to intimacy in American culture. But there is more to this hue than the stereotypes that have arisen from movies and advertisements. According to Psychology Today, studies conducted where men had to rate the attractiveness of a woman pictured wearing red and other colors or standing in front of a red screen and in front of other colors almost always resulted in a higher rating when the fiery shade was involved. Today's featured comment comes from, yes, I agree, but on our Actors Who Fell In Love On Set video. Thanks for commenting. Yes, I agree. Don't forget to leave your thoughts below and we might feature you in an upcoming video. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.